In this video, I want to demo Seed Shuffler, which is a utility node for randomizing or shuffling seed attributes, or really any numeric attribute, but mainly designed with seeds in mind. And if I zoom out here, I've got a pretty big graph with a lot of uh, randomization involved to generate this object. So going through and manually tweaking the seed values would be pretty tedious. This node is just meant to be a convenient way to change all of those at once. So I hit preview, it's gonna give me a list of attributes that it's going to affect with their current values and also give me a chance to uh, disable some if I wanna say don't change these particular ports. I'm also gonna go ahead and make a copy of this. And then if I just hit shuffle, it'll randomize all these and I'll get a completely new object. And I can just keep doing this. And that's kind of the point is it just gives me a really easy way to just try out um, a bunch of different variations. The purpose of the duplicate is all of those original seed values got stored on this. So if I ever wanna go back to that original object, I can just hit apply and it's gonna reapply those original seed values. So if you find a variant you like, you can just duplicate the node and now you have that stored if you ever wanna go back to it. The default parameters are usually fine if all you wanna change are seeds, um, but the way this works is it searches the graph for ports with a specific name. Um, so if you wanted to add you know, additional ports other than just seed, I could just add this as a space separated list. So for example, I could add max or color or whatever else. Um, and now it's gonna search for ports that are named seed, max, color, et cetera. Um, the, I can control whether I should search for int types or if I should search for float types or both. Um, and by int, this includes long, uint, you know, all the variants that are the blue color basically, um, as well as the, the vector types. So like int two and three and four and so on. I can control the range of random values that get generated. And then for floats, there's um, also the precision. So it's gonna generate values with three uh, decimal points. I can also set this to negative. So if I want to do like, you know, rounds to the nearest 100, I could just do negative two. And then reset feedback ports. will just reset the feedback ports every time it shuffles, just to make sure the whole graph gets recomputed. The last thing is the scope. So this node isn't really meant to have any connections made to it, but the position in the graph controls the area that it influences. So the default scope of local means it's only going to search for nodes in the same level that the, the compound itself is located in. But if I were to set this to global, for example, and let me just remove those extra ones. If I set this to global and then preview again, you'll see the list gets a little bit longer since it found some uh, ports in like nested compounds and stuff. And now if I shuffle, it'll include those as well.